You can have something that completely blows your socks off. Or you can have something, you know, so quiet and intimate. That is the beauty of music. The Anchor Award really gives an opportunity to the people who are standout. I feel very proud to be part of this team. I'm very flattered to be asked along. And I actually feel especially proud to be part of, you know, an event which is quite groundbreaking in the current climate that we are able to be here and show support and show that it can be done. You know, we can keep living through this crisis. I would like to introduce you to our Hi. CEO, Hi. Alexander Hi. Schultz. Alex, nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. 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 Max, Alex. Hello. 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 Hi. Great to have you all here. We'd like to do some pictures yeah. with yeah. you all. There are so many great and talented people out there. The Anchor Award really gives an opportunity to the people who are standout, the great talent who really need to be seen and heard. For the wonderful Melanie C. Oh my gosh, but can we just say, how weird is this? So weird. It's so weird. I know. Um, so under these special circumstances, what does this type of jury do mean to you personally? I feel like it's a huge responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, I think being an artist, judging other artists is really difficult. So I really want to come to this as a music lover. Tony, let's talk to you in New York. Can you explain to us how are you going to watch all of the showcases? Well, me and my fellow judges are going to watch the showcases on a big screen in this room over the next few days. and, and uh, see all the contestants playing live and hopefully the sound will be very loud and we'll try to feel like we're there in Hamburg but of course it's not going to be as good as a real thing. This is just a very bizarre way of experiencing it for the fifth time. But I expect that we will communicate with Mel C and, and the other judges in, in uh, Hamburg via Zoom uh, which has its complications but we'll, we'll get the job done I'm sure. Well, so are we. Uh, Melanie, you will be here in Hamburg watching uh, the club showcases, sitting comfortably. Um, you'll have space around you. Um, there'll be somebody that's going to serve you drinks at the table, which is kind of nice, right? So do we really want it to go back to how things were? There's something about an atmosphere, you know, people packed in a room together. Um, sharing that. So I hope we get back to something that isn't too different to what we're used to. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mel C is in it, and that's, no, that's just, uh, yeah, of course, I listened to the Spice Girls a lot when I was nine, I think, and I was a big fan. I can't wait yeah. to see real music. It's a fan to see music being performed. I can't wait for that. I miss that. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I feel very excited. I think sometimes when you're the first people to be going out doing a show and they kind of know it's at stake, it can be quite a bit of pressure. So I hope that they are relaxed and able to give their best performance. We just saw our first act, Effie, and I'm really impressed. It was very beautiful. There was a real uniqueness to it, both visually as well as in the sound. So right now I have nothing to compare it with, but I feel like it was a very exciting start. <laughs> We've got the best seats in the house, right? But we feel a little bit like we could be intimidating. So I think we really want to enjoy, but we want to be low key at the same time. It's a hard balance to strike, I think. <laughs> we try to look nice and <laughs> cheerful all the time, Give friendly. Helpful vibes. And uh, we are trying not to talk among each other because that would get they would get the impression that we have something to discuss and that would make them feel insecure. So we're just sitting there like three sheep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We really want to make a good decision, so we have to get over any awkwardness and get down to business. 
Eine Person aus unserem Team wird auf jeden Fall äh, dabei sein und hier Mäuschen spielen. Das ist so ein bestimmten Nominee entschieden haben. Und äh, morgen auf der Bühne, wenn der Gewinner verkündet wird, hören wirklich 99 Prozent aller Anwesenden inklusive der Nominierten zum ersten Mal den Namen des Gewinners. I, I think I have two that I'm between. Yes, yes. Um, it's, it's, it's hard because they have all been very different. So it's very difficult to compare and this, yeah. They don't have different strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. So it'd be interesting yeah. to see what everybody else feels. Like. I get three, which I can't decide on. Um, Do you have three? Yeah, yeah, three. And the thing is, yeah. which that brings me into a nice, comfortable situation because I can live with three winners. Oh, so I'm happy anyway yeah. tonight yeah. because I don't think that the other two um, will it really have a chance, but among those three, I'm yeah, totally, yes. I'm not fine with them. Oh, everybody. maybe we're on the same page then. Mm -hmm. Hi. Can you hear us? New York, are you there? How's everybody there? We're good. Good day, wasn't it? Interesting, yeah. A little bit sad, but that's it. There's no more bands to watch. Hi, guys, how are you? Hi. Good. Hello. Uh, so, how did, uh, have you reached uh, any decisions of the, amongst the three of you? Oh, wait, let me see how oh, are you guys We need to get rid of the spies, one this? second. None of your business. Oh, okay. Yeah, get rid of that spy. <laughs> We went round and round quite a lot, didn't we? We had a lot to discuss. But I think we made the right decision in the end. Yeah. We did. Well, we had two candidates. And um, honestly, we pretty quickly decided on one of them. And then we started discussing it. And we had several options. And basically, we ended up picking the other one, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, I think it's it's really hard. I mean, we, we were even considering having two winners. That's how difficult it was. Um, and they're very different. Um, so it was hard. It was hard to choose one over the other. But, you know, with different contributing factors, we, we decided on one final winner. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. See you tomorrow. Right. See you tomorrow. <laughs> so I, mean, I, I left my bag, right. See you tomorrow. Good Until tomorrow. Good I dress like her for Halloween two years in a row. Did you? When I was much younger, yeah. Why don't you just blame it on me? Thank you. What do you remember about the performance of Etna, Ines and Damian? Do you, what, what did you like about it? Well, it's interesting how you put that question mm -hmm. because they are unforgettable. They were the second band that we saw. And when I woke up in the morning, they were on my mind. And um, they are so different, aren't they? Um, but yeah, it, it was a special performance. I'm excited for everyone to see them. So, the winner is... Edna! I love my fellow judges. I was very sad to not be able to get to know the guys in New York better. But hanging out with Frank and Marcus, we're like the three musketeers. I actually now, I'm going to miss them.